Hey everybody, what we got today is my XRK tank stick and what we're going to do today is we're going to replace the joysticks with the MagStick Plus which goes from 8-way to 4-way. Now, also I got these plates because the size of this plate, this top plate, is different and I'm going to replace a couple of buttons so it matches more because I use the original Xbox button configuration. Now if you look at the colors from the original Xbox controller to the tank stick they match except this white button right here which is this button right here. Plus the original buttons are so loose see if you can see how loose they are compared to these solid ones that barely move. These are IL from Paradise Arcade. Now all this was bought from there. And if you notice that you probably can't tell but when I get more into this that these do not match the bolt holes. So that's why I got these plates. So that is what I'm going to be doing today. All right, I'll come back to you. All right, so I turned the tank stick over, and basically you've got to remove all these screws from the back side. Here's the top, the very first one. Now you also have to remove these little plastic rubber divots, whatever you want to call them, that actually go inside of these holes. Whoops, where is it? Hang on. Yeah, so basically, here, let me cover. So that was inside, so you have to take that out first. Just an FYI. Alright, all the screws are removed. So, hang on, let me uh, zoom out a little bit or get out a little bit. Now, it's hard to get this off, so I just use a little screwdriver and wedge it in there and basically just take it off and there is the inside of the tank stick so here let me get some better light so basically we have to remove this guy and um that guy, which I think is going to be more of a pain because it's right in this corner. So, yeah, that's next. All right, so let me show you what I did so far. To get to some of these bolts, I had to move like this micro switch right in this area to get to that bolt. And then to get to that bolt, I had to remove the original switch that was right here. I also took a picture plus I labeled some of these so I knew where the wires were going to go because so many wires and I don't want to screw this up. But anyway, I'm going to get going on this. I'm going to remove this C-clamp to remove the joystick itself so I can just pull this whole thing out and we'll see how the plate needs to be modified. Well, actually the wood needs to be modified to the plate. And I'll show you that. All right, so here's what the plate looks like when it's in position. The problem is the plate is bigger than the original hole. Let me get this out and I will show you. It's really tight in there, hang on. So there's the hole, and what I did was I scribed in where I need to kind of router. I'm going to use a Dremel, and I am going to try to get this in there. Now the problem is, this guy is so tight, we'll have to see what I'll do. Maybe I will um, Dremel underneath it, just in the very little tip corner I might have to take this guy out this out and so I can just drill and then put this back in but let me see how this goes I'll let you know 
All right, so what I got is a Dremel right here with the Dremel set I got for like $15 at Walmart. And I don't know if I'm gonna use these guys or there's these um, sanding, I think it's behind this label here. No, it's actually right here. Because I need to figure out how I'm gonna cut this out without making too much of a mess. So let me um, put the bit on and let me try. I'll get back. All right, I tried different bits and it seems like this so far has been the best. If you can see kind of my hack job. Um, but I'll keep working at it because I have to go all the way around. But uh, so far this has been working pretty good. Okay, so I would call that a success. That router, I mean, it's not perfect, but when you take it out, you can see that I made the hole a little bigger. And so you can see that it fits right in. And now I have to do this side. Having fun. Well, let me give you a close up view of these micro switches on this mag stick. First, here's a switch where it goes from 8-way to 4-way, doing this with one hand. It's really a nice joystick. But here's the Cherry Micro Switch, which I have to unscrew this, and then this leaf, let me see here, see if you can, needs to come out, and I need to put it on one of these, one of these grooves. So then when it's finally going to be put on, it'll be just like the original. Alright, I'll do one of them. Alright, so here's the plate on the mag stick. That's the old plate next to it. And it should fit in right in this new hole that I created. And hopefully it's all centered. And um, actually taking the mag stick apart was only these few pieces. Hopefully I can put it back together and it all works. All right, they are in. So that's one side. That's the other side. And then I had to write down which direction the four and eight way, so I remember. But um, yeah, on a scale of uh, one to five, I would call this two and a half or a three because of the routering of the wood, which wasn't too bad if you have the right tools. And um, you have to get all the plates and everything. So I'm going to now replace the white buttons. And I will be done after I test it. And so here's the final product with the buttons added and the new joystick. Very nice. Just pull it up and rotate. So there you go. It's a nice little project for somebody.